just want to say congratulations to Kobe Bryant on a phenomenal basketball career. Um, with the shadow, without shadow of a doubt, one of the greatest players and a true Hall of Fame player. Uh, Kobe Bryant will probably go down as one of the three, four uh, greatest in, uh, Lakers in the history, of, uh, the Lakers history, of course. And there's not much more you can say about it. Um, I got a few questions uh, through other sites that I'm on. And people asking me different things about is Kobe Bryant one of the top five greatest Lakers of all time? Of course. I mean, who would ever deny if Kobe Bryant is one of the top Lakers of all time? Um, as extraordinary as, there, as the Lakers dynasty is through the years, uh, Kobe Bryant has done things that just like Magic Johnson, Kareem Abdul Jabbar, you go further back even, you know, uh, Jerry West, and uh, you go even further back than that, through, you know, George Mikan days. Um, but let's get to the point. Kobe's final game, that 60-point game. I mean, to finish his career at the age of 37, almost 38 years old, playing 20 years in the league almost, to score 60 points at his, in his final game is just off the charts. This is something that I never thought he would do. Um, there was a debate on uh, with buddy Skip Bayless and uh, Stephen A. Smith on is Kobe Bryant going to, how many points will Kobe score in his final game? And Skip Bayless was pretty much on point. He said, uh, he, he said you know what, I think Kobe's going to go for about, about 30, over 30. And I'm sorry, uh, Skip Bayless said 40. Skip Bailey said that he's going to go for 40. And everyone, I'm uh, not everyone, but uh, excuse me, Stephen A thought it was ridiculous. Oh, he'll go for 20, 25 and have a good, solid game. And boy, was he wrong. Kobe went off and just outdid both of those guys, scored 60 points. Um, struggled at first. And that is the, the one thing I think about Kobe Bryant. When he struggled in the beginning like he did, he missed, I think, his first four or five shots. I think that is what basically motivated him to basically, you know, uh, just just have that Michael Jordan mentality, which he has. Uh, as we all know, Kobe Bryant is the only player since Michael Jordan to have that true hunger uh, or, the, or that true competitive mentality of a Michael Jordan. You know, Magic Johnson, Larry Bird, uh... There are a number of guys you can name that had that competitive nature about them. Bill Russell, of course, you know, John Havlicek, um, Jerry West. I mean, these guys doing extraordinary things. Not only could they score and do things, they passed the ball. Uh, so, but getting to the point, the greatest feat of any player in NBA history to, to end their career, their final game, and score over 40 points as we see him score 60 points and go 50 for 50 for 60 yeah basically score 60 points and shot 50 balls so basically missed 10 shots miss his first five if i'm not mistaken which was still um early in the game yeah you know, it's not like it was later in the game but this was the early part of the game where he, you know he basically uh missed those first five shots so but a phenomenal feat for a guy you know, who didn't have anything in the beginning of the season. If you look at the beginning of the season and to the end of the season, thinking that they may, to a point, you know, make a breakthrough and win maybe, break maybe 30 games. But no, no, not a chance of the playoffs, not a chance of anything. And there are a lot of people saying Kobe Bryant needs to just stop playing this season and just, um, uh, just basically give this season up and just retire um, but he basically had something to prove as, as we all see he basically had something to prove and he proved it to score 60 points in his final game is just you know it, there's nothing you can really say about it he was basically on a roar and Skip Bayless and uh, Stephen A. Smith were just blown away I can you know I can only you know hope to see what Charles Kenny Ernie and uh, Shaq can say about it also but 
for a career that has been phenomenal. Okay, guys, let's get to a couple more questions here. Kobe Bryant, is he a top 10, uh, excuse me, top 5 Laker of all time? Of course. If you look at, in my opinion, the greatest Laker of all time will probably be Magic Johnson for all that he's done in his career. I mean, it's hard to deny Magic Johnson and say, he's, is he or is he not the greatest? He's got to be up there. Uh, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, you're going to have, he, he's going to be in an argument. You're going to have uh, Jerry West, people are going to say, Elgin Baylor, they're going to say, uh, Will Chamberlain, uh, Shaquille O'Neal, people are even going are even going to say. Um... But I'm going to say Magic Johnson is number one. And you can definitely go and say guys like uh, Kareem or Wilt Chamberlain at number two. Whatever player you think is whatever. Even though Kareem won more with the Lakers than uh, Wilt. But, and then you can put Kobe at third. You know, why wouldn't Kobe be put at third, you know, or fourth behind uh, Jerry West or, you know, if you want to put him in above or back behind him. But I'll probably put him at third when I really think about it, you know, as far as the greatest Lakers of all time. Um, to look at what he did with nothing to come back and do what he did. Um, I'm having a hard time. I, well, I did have a hard time between the past few days of, of putting him or Jerry West at three or four. Because Jerry West, to me, meant people people really underrate him. And I'm tired of people saying, I, I didn't see Wilt. Is he the most dominant center or more than Shaquille O'Neal? Yes, he was. I mean, Shaquille O'Neal, is, as much as I love Shaquille O'Neal, his dominance was one way. Pound the ball under and dunk on you hard. Wilt Chamberlain did it with finesse. Wilt Chamberlain did it with power. Will Chamberlain did it with uh, faking you out and doing different other. You know, he had, he was multi he was multifaceted multifaceted at basically dominating. Shaq had one way: back you down, turn around, dunk on you. Not to say that it's a bad thing because he, nobody did it with such ferociousness and craziness at all. Uh, Chamberlain did it a few times like that too. It was he was mad a few times in the playoffs and he tore. He basically did a Shaq dunk before Shaq. So. But yeah, guys, I just want to just basically get that out the way also. And, and is Kobe Bryant, as you see him go over, oh, beautiful dunk there. I remember that. Um, to be honest, guys, I was not a big fan of Kobe Bryant when he wore number eight for some reason. Now I do, yeah. But back then when he, from, I'm going to say from 98 to 2000 and what, man, five or so, I didn't like Kobe Bryant. I liked him. I knew he was a great player. He was always the best, et cetera. He was considered the best player and all that but I didn't like him until he had when he went through that situation with his wife and all that I think it humbled him I think it changed him I think he really looked at things different and he he, he put himself down a little bit on off that pedestal and really saw what life was about and he became an even better player he, he became a better husband he became a better father he became a better everything and he humbled himself and you know, I almost regret saying I didn't like him back then, but he he had to go through that for it for him to change. And 60 points, guys, in the final game will never be done again. Um, it's the greatest old man game ever, as far as old old players <laughs> that would be considered, you know, 36, 37 and over. Um, I would definitely say that. Think about it. What other player over that age that has a final game that is a, considered a superstar? Not just any player, a superstar. He has to be a superstar to score that many points or do that much. You can't name any. That's why Kobe is the best. So there's nothing you can say about it. Kobe is the best, guys. Kobe dominated like there's no other. And to score 60 points in his final game will is just rest assured the, the best feat uh, basically ever done in basketball so um, you know you know, guys can say whatever they want about his career they can say whatever want, they want about his attitude they can say well, just like I did back then when he wore the number 8 I, I, I was the same way about how he was his attitude and, and what he represented but in my opinion I, I've been saying this for the past 5 or 6 years Kobe Bryant is, was still the best player in the league Guys, no, no, LeBron was. Oh, no, 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 such, 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 such. I think once Kobe 
ranked it himself over this guy that you're looking at now, Michael Jordan. Once Michael Jordan passed that torch on to Kobe Bryant, until Kobe Bryant passed the torch, he was still he was always the best player in my opinion until he passed the torch. Just like Dr. J was still the best player until he passed the torch to him. But as you see, we go from which you just saw Michael Jordan to Kobe Bryant. And now you can say that LeBron James is the best player to hold that torch now. As great as Steph Curry has had as the season is this year, he did great last season. As great as his season is, he's not the best player in the league. He will have to do it for he'll have to do it next season and the season after, in my opinion. He'll have to do it for the next two seat two seasons. Um he'll have to be on pretty much the same type of level. You know, for the next two or three seasons for me to even put him on and say, okay, he's the best player in the league. He's still got to break through the wall of Kevin Durant. He's still got to break through the wall of uh, Dwayne Wade. Guys in the past that were always runner-up to, to uh, LeBron James. He's still got to break through those guys because he's only been doing it for about a season. and, and, and I'm going to say a season and a half. Um, so, you know, as we look here at some vintage... Uh, Chicago Bulls and LA Lakers with the early Kobe Bryant, the very early Kobe Bryant. Um, but yeah, to end this video, basically, I'm just basically going to say, 60 point game for Kobe Bryant. It will never be done again. Um, he had a great, phenomenal career, and I'm just hoping that you know. It, and people don't realize there's a chance that he may come back. He's so much like Michael Jordan, like I said earlier, that he's so much like Michael Jordan with the attitude and the ability to compete and be as competitive as Michael Jordan and to follow his regimen, you know, pretty much down packed and even do certain things harder than Michael Jordan on a different level. And there's always that talk, is he better than, is he as good as Michael Jordan? There's no other player that's as close as you if you go to a scale of one to a hundred and if Jordan's a hundred Kobe's a 97 you know there's three things that he will never he never has now that he's retired he will never do but Kobe Bryant is definitely deserving of he's no brainer first bout Hall of Famer um you're talking about a five time uh champion uh all star MVP uh, league MVP, which he should have got more, but uh, we know how that goes sometimes. But we all know with all the games, and, and he, he had the torch, so there was no need for him to win more than one. Um, but okay, guys, just want just want to end this video off by saying congratulations, Kobe Bryant, on a phenomenal NBA career. To score 60 points in your last game is just awesome, and the, like I said, there's a possibility he can't come back in a couple of years. You never know, you know, with literally six months of rest totally like he's never had before not playing at all he may just have another spring left so you never know so i never say it's over till it's over you know he's still young you know michael played two th two and a half years older than him you know so we'll see you know you never know we'll see but congratulations kobe brown that 60 point game that just blew everybody's mind so all right